through the eye of a woman who is the first and among the last to leave this market, Ekero, Mumias, in Kakamega County. The story of a 31-year-old, a graduate from Moy University, unfolds. It is another morning, and Olive Atsianzale Nyapola does what she has been faithfully doing for six months now. A motorbike ride. Then this. Marks the beginning of another day. Nothing close to what she studied at the university. Nothing even closer to her dream, a broom, a wheelbarrow, and bare hands, her tools of trade. I've been looking for a job for a long time, but fortunately in 2011, I succeeded. I got a job with the former municipal council of Kakamega. I've been wa I was working as a co revenue collector before the county government came in. But when it came in, there was a challenge. Some of us were laid off. For six months, she was jobless again. But we took the matter to the court. The court resolved. After a period of around six months, we were reinstated. And then some of us were transferred to some sub-counties. Currently, I'm with the Mumia sub-county. I'm working as a cleaner. There's no interesting part about the job, she tells me, and the skills she acquired after attaining a diploma from Sigala Gala Polytechnic and a degree thereafter cannot be applied here. It's sweeping, piling up, collecting, then pushing the wheelbarrow to the dump site. The job is quite challenging. For instance, I interact with uh, different people. They see me as an illiterate person, a person who have never gone to school. That's why I'm cleaning the market. Uh, I meet with my colleagues, my former classmates. Others sympathize with me. Others encourage me. Efforts to get a relevant job are futile. There are jobs to apply, but the only problem I have is that every employer requires experience. What I'm wondering is if I apply for this job, will my employer to be understand and take me in with my experience of cleaning the market? A matter the Kakamega County Governor bluntly chooses not to discuss when asked. Let's leave that for another day. Another day for Olive Nyapola means sweeping and hoping a miracle will happen. How I wish that someday I'll do something better than this. Judicus Gay, Citizen Business Center.